Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to create a shared drive in Google Drive, All right? So first up, go ahead and make a new folder. Now, how do we do that? Just basically go to the top left right here and click on new. All right, now click on new folder. Now in here, just go ahead and rename it. For example, uh, for my team, like that and hit on create and just wait for it. And as you can see here, here we have our folder. So what we're gonna do in this folder is that first we would need to give the necessary permission. So whoever accesses this particular folder can go ahead and edit, upload and view whatever is in this folder, all right? So just double click on it. Now in here at the top, this is the folder's name. Just click on the drop down. Now click on share. Hit on share once more. Wait for it and the, this page will show. So if you just wanted to share this particular folder to a specific person or to a specific group of people. All right, so go ahead and uh, put their email right here. For example, I'm going to share it to myself. Okay, second uh, email of mine and also for my wife right here. If you want to, you can go ahead and add in some message. If not, right here, make sure that you click on this drop down as it is a shared folder. Basically, everyone can organize, add, and edit files. All right. Make sure that you select editor, not viewer. Okay. Click on that and hit on send. And these people right here will be able to receive an email. All right. I'll show you. As you can see here, I'm logged into the other account. All right. It says here, this person or the owner of the drive has invited you to contribute to the following shared folder. And this is the folder. When I open it up, here's the folder. All right. So if you want everyone with this link can access or edit what's inside this particular folder, well, you can go ahead and give the permission by going to share again right here. And then instead of restricted, make sure that you click on drop down and click on anyone with the link. All right. Now in here, make sure that you select editor as well. Okay. So basically when you hit on done and copy the link right here. Now let's say I'm going to open up a new incognito tab right here. I'm going to open it up. As you can see, I'll be able to just, uh, access the files that are in here. But if I wanted to add in some more file or folder, I can't do it because I'm not logged in. That's basically it. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.